Hello, I Quanters. Welcome to I Brahma series of questions. Today, I'll be giving the solution to the next question, which was very important about Pythagorean triplets. And <clears throat> this also derives its uh, solution from the class which I took a few days back about Pythagorean triplets. The question here says, how many triangles can be drawn, none of whose sides is a part of any Pythagorean triplet? Well, first of all, let us understand the question. So, <clears throat> there can be n number of triangles and <clears throat> the condition over here is that none of its sides should be a part of any Pythagorean triplet. In the class where I discussed about Pythagorean triplets by giving you a formula for Brahma triplets, uh, the formula was like this. So this set would be a Pythagorean triplet if n is odd. That is what we learned in the last class. So this will be this will be a Pythagorean triplet. For example, if you put n is equal to three, then this becomes three square. Nine minus one is eight upon two, and similarly ten upon two. So you will get a Pythagorean triplet that is three comma four comma five. So all in all, this formula which is about Brahma triplets, finding the triplet just by knowing the value of n. So this is the formula for when n is n is odd. Similarly, similarly, if I if if n is even, in that case the triplet will be n n square minus four whole upon four and n square plus four whole upon four. So we learned this as well. I'm just I'll give you an example. If n is equal to twenty, what do we get? Twenty square is four hundred minus four is three ninety six whole upon four. And similarly here I'll get four zero four upon four. On solving this, we'll get ten ninety nine and one zero one. So this is just a repetition of what we did. Just a quick recapitulation. And uh, here we have understood that these two formula are so useful in our lives that we can calculate any Pythagorean triplet just by putting in the values. Now, <clears throat> that also means that whatever value we put for n, we'll get a Pythagorean triplet. Now, according to the question, 3, 4, 5 is a triplet. That means we cannot assume any triangle whose sides are either 3 or 4 or 5 or all. Similarly, we cannot put, we cannot we cannot uh, consider a triangle whose sides are either 10 or 19 or 101. So now looking at this, you might realize that for all the values of n, there has to be a Pythagorean triplet. So <clears throat> first of all, in the first instance on the face of the question, it looks like there are zero triangles like that. Some people commented infinite triangles uh, because they did not know this formula. Now they know it. So uh, this formula, if you look closely, look at this value. Here, n can never be equal to 1. Why? Because if n is 1, n square minus 1 becomes 0 and 0 cannot be the side of any triangle and similarly when n is even, n cannot be equal to 2 because if you put 2 here, you will get 0 again. So now we have come to a very, very, very important result in pure mathematics and the result is that <coughs> there are no triplets, there are no triplets, no Pythagorean triplets for the sides of the triangle equal to 1 or 2. I am repeating, with, with the number 1 and number 2, we cannot find, we cannot calculate any Pythagorean triplet. So for all the numbers, a triplet exists except 1 and 2. Now once we have established this, that 1 and 2 cannot be the side of any Pythagorean uh, triplet, <coughs> that means our life is very easy now. So 1, so basically we have to calculate the triangles whose sides are either 1 or 2. That will be the answer of this question. If the side is 1, you can form an equilateral triangle 1, 1, 1. That is a possibility. So, neither of the sides here is a part of any Pythagorean triplet. Similarly, if you assume 2, you can get 2, 2 and 2. Again, None of the sides of this triangle is a part of any Pythagorean triplet. 
And if we mix one and two, combine one and two, what do we get? We get a triangle whose sides are two, comma one, comma two. That is a possibility. So these three triangles is the answer. And if you try to assume one, comma one, comma two, this will not be a triangle. This will not be a triangle because sum of any two sides should be greater than the third side. And in this case, one plus one is equal to two. It should be greater than two. So of course, this is not. This cannot be the consideration. This cannot be a triangle. So we have only three triangles. Triangles here: one, 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 two, 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 and two, one, two. So the answer here is three. This is an extremely difficult question, but at the same time, very interesting. And if you know the, if you have attended the class for Pythagorean triplets, of course, you will be. You will really be. Uh, on the ninth cloud. So this is something which is really exciting. Thank you.